Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to learn about collar stud axis parallel to H pin VP. Now this is 2D plus 6. This is point 4D. This is 1.5D. This is M20 that is D. This is 1.5D. The inside one is 0.85D. So we'll draw this collar stud freehand. So what we will do, first we will draw a box. We need to draw front view and side view. So we'll find out all the values of D, 0.4D, then 0.85D, then 1.5D and 2D plus 6. So once we get all these values, then we'll start with the circle. Always remember, whenever you start any sum, you should always draw circular view first. So we'll mark 15, 15. Total is 30, right? That's 1.5D. So in freehand you can use scale for marking the dimensions. See this is left side. So you draw left and then right side. Then inside one is 20 right. So take 10 10 and then 0.85D 17 so 8.5 8.5 so that way you can take dimensions and you can draw freehand see there is an external threading in this so that's why outside circle is full and the inner one is 3 fourth. that you should remember and since we are following first angle so in first quadrant I am not drawing that full circle that three-fourth circle that's why it is like this now we project this we take D that is 20 see this is 0.85 D Now we'll mark 1.5D. So this is the threaded portion. So we'll show it like this. Then 0.4D. That is 8mm. Then this is any distance and 2D plus 6. So 2D plus 6 is 46. And any random distance you can take somewhere around 20. So 46 plus 26, 66. Join this. This is this much is the threaded portion, 2D plus 6. And then you can show runoff angle. This will be dark, this is curve. This is runoff angle. So we are done with this sum. Then we can do axis and dimensioning. So we are done with front view and side view of a collar stud.
Now let's say if axis is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. So that time we'll draw front view, top view. So in, this will be like this. So in front view you will have this I'm doing it rough in the sense approximation. And see at times we can draw this curve also instead of that that inclined line we can draw this way also so remember that now this is how it will come then we have a bigger circle for that portion outside portion 1.5d and this is external threading so that's why outer circle is full inner one is 3 fourth so i hope you people have understood this thank you